All right, here we go. Question number two from our 1316 homework number five in my lab math. They want us to find the exact value of this expression. Notice it says to rewrite the expression using a sum or difference formula. And so that's going to indicate we're looking in the sum or difference formula category specifically for sine of theta. Now, I do want to draw your attention to the fact that they have two different angles for a, answer choice A and B. And then for answer choice C and D, they have two sets of angles. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to check and make sure that both of these pairs of angles do add up to make 23 pi over 12. If they don't, then that will exclude two of the answer choices, okay? So first, we want to check 5 pi over 3. plus pi over 4, and that is 23 pi over 12. So those answer choice A and B are possible. And then if we check answer choice C and D, we want to check 7 pi over 6 added to 3 pi over 4 and see if that is also 23 pi over 12 which it is. Okay, so that doesn't help me exclude any answer choices, okay? And so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on the way these formulas here are set up. So I've got sine, cosine, plus cosine, sine, sine, cosine, minus cosine, sine. Those are different. And then this one is a third one that's different because it's got cosine, cosine, minus sine, sine, and then this last one is also different. So if I can just figure out which one is set up with the correct arrangement of trig functions and add and subtract, I will be able to pick the right answer. So let's go to our formula list. Again, we're focusing on these two right here. And obviously it's not going to be the second one, okay? Because we know that all of these say sine of alpha plus beta. The alpha is the 5 pi over 3, and the beta is pi over 4. So we're zeroing in on this formula, which says that it has to be sine alpha times cosine beta with a plus sign, cosine alpha sine beta. So we're looking for which one has sine and cosine and a plus sign. Let's see here. Okay, so obvious, obviously it's not B or C because they have a minus in the middle. And it's not D because it's got cosine, cosine. And the formula we need has to have sine and cosine. Okay, so that means it has to be answer choice A. By the process of elimination. And then they actually want me to find the exact value of that. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit and recopy this over here. Knowing that we've got the sine of 5 pi over 3 uh, times the cosine of pi over 4 plus the cosine of 5 pi over 3 times the sine of pi over 4. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use our unit circle to find the value of each one of these uh, trigonometric expressions, okay? So remember in the unit circle, sine is y, cosine is x, cosine is x, sine is y, okay? So the first thing I need is I need the y coordinate at 5 pi over 3. So at 5 pi over 3 down here, I need the y coordinate, which is negative square root of 3 over 2. That is the first piece of the puzzle. And then I need the x coordinate at pi over 4. x coordinate square root of 2 over 2. And then I've got my plus sign. And then I need the x coordinate at 5 pi over 3, which is positive half. 
and I need the y coordinate at pi over 4, which is square root of 2 over 2. And then all I have to do is simplify this expression completely. So let's multiply and see what we get. Okay, negative times a positive makes a negative. Square root of 3 times square root of 2 is square root of 6, all over 2 times 2, which is 4. Plus 1 times square root of 2 is square root of 2. 2 times 2 is 4. These fractions do have a common denominator. And so I can put them together and say negative square root of 6 plus square root of 2 all over 4. And if it makes you feel better, you can actually switch places with these guys. That won't make any difference. But I tend to like to have the positive one first. Okay, so I could also say square root of 2 minus square root of 6 all over 4. And that should be the correct answer. Uh, in simplest radical form. And before I put that into my lab math, I'm going to pull up my handy dandy calculator and see if it'll do it for me. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is put my calculator in radian mode. And then I'm going to type in this original problem, which is sine of 23 pi over 12, and see if my Casio class whiz will actually give this answer. Oh, look at that. And it actually gives the one right here. So it gives it in this format, but this should also be acceptable. Either one of these is fine. And isn't that amazing that the calculator displays that answer in radical form? Amazing. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my answer and see if it accepts it. Square root of 2 minus square root of 6, all over 4, fingers crossed. <clears throat> Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me, and thanks for watching.